Uh, two brothers from northern Minnesota created a game that's a unique combination of trading cards and dice. In the trading card world, Ward is now available worldwide. Joe and Tom Casey are the men behind Ward Trading Company, and they're joining us in studio this morning. Hi, guys. Hi. Thanks Hi. for being here. Yeah, yeah anytime. So I, I just messed up the intro. Uh, dice are generally not seen in the trading card. Not commonly, no, dice aren't seen in it, but we've found a way to blend that into with a kind of classic tabletop RPG dice rolling battle system, and it's, it's very fun. Okay, mm -hmm. hold on a second. Can we just back this up for just a little minute? You bet. <laughs> Tell me about Ward. Like, how did you even come up with the idea? Like, what were you doing that made you think we need to create a, a card so, game? Yeah, so basically the way it came about is uh, we've always been kind of into trading card games, and mostly back in the old days. It's We're in our 30s now, but we liked the old school feel of it. We tried to get kind of back into it a few years ago. The systems were overly complex. We couldn't even understand it. So what we did is we actually, or I did, is I ended up making kind of a game just really off the cuff, homemade stuff, and it was just for going to be us at our cabin, just rainy day type stuff. Yeah. Let's just play this. Well, after doing it a few times, we realized, Jesus, we got something fun. Like, this is really fun. Mm -hmm. And, like, we don't want to play any of these other big games that are made by huge manufacturers. We just want to play this. So we eventually copy wrote it, trademarked, and it just evolved from there. I mean, that's a, Tom, that's pretty ambitious. For you guys to, yeah. I mean, I think a lot of people think, ah, there should be a game, but very few people actually like see it through. Yeah, I don't it? know. We just went with it. Yeah, you know, there was a lot of prototype in the beginning, you know, when we were kind of building it just to play internally. And that's kind of when we got to the point of like, if we're having this much fun with this game, maybe other people will too. Mm -hmm. And so we kind of, you know, just made the decision together that let's, let's try to do this. You guys both use the word fun, like it was so much fun. Like, what makes it fun? What makes it different than other trading card games? What's it's fun. The... So, for those if they don't know much about trading card games, a lot of trading card games are very simple. Where the, your opponent has a card, you have a card. One just beats the other. Like it's one just beats the other, and it's fast. But what ours does with these dice rolls is it makes it feel like it's kind of a back and forth battle between your two cards, which. At least I've never played a game that yeah, has felt that way. Yeah, and that's not, why it's fun. Yeah, it's not just your card beats my card, which is yeah. the, the traditional sense. We have the dice, and you kind of leave it up to the dice gods. And, you know, luck is on your side, and sometimes your weaker card beats a stronger card. And that's just not generally how trading card, trading games, card games work. work. So explain okay. that to me with the weaker card versus the stronger card. So, like, like example here of, of mm -hmm. one of these that okay. you were talking about. Like, that guy looks very scary. <laughs> So he feels like he'd be a strong card. <laughs> so these two here actually are promotional cards, and they're only given away oh, in events. Gotcha. But if we're just going to talk about our basic cards here, this yeah. is actually the strongest creature in the game here. We call them creatures, creature cards. You can yep. tell there's two differences, uh, tan and then blue. Blue are basically what you consider support cards. They make these ones stronger, and that makes the game evolve and different. He's the strongest card in the game, though. Basically what it is, I don't, oh, it is looking down at it. Perfect. <laughs> so basically what you get to do if you want to see that too. Is uh, you would 10 get dice rolls, okay. Plus 10, and that yep. little plus 10 is added to the end of your dice roll. So there's a little bit that is not random, <laughs> but you're rolling, and it's only six sided die. The reason we made that decision. Yeah, is yeah six I was reading that. The well, reason we went with that decision is because everybody just has these at home. Six sided die are probably laying around in your old risk board mm -hmm. or from when you play yep. Parkle with grandma or something. Yep. You got yep. them laying around. And, and not only did we do it because they're common, but actually, statistically relevant, there are more chances than a like a twenty-sided die because there's thirty-six different variations with two six-sided dice compared mm -hmm. to only like six with one or twenty with a twenty-sided dice, which is very common in those kinds of games. Can I comment on the artwork because yeah, it's so cool, mm -hmm. so cool and so stunning? I mean, you could have done basic cards, but you guys kind of went on all, all out with the artwork. Yeah, so something we wanted to go with the artwork was, uh, we'd always been big fans of 1980s comics, mm -hmm. like the old art style like that, um, Jack Kirby, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And we wanted to bring that into like a card game that's still kind of fantasy based, but with an, a comic book look. So down in the corner in all of them, you can see our illustrator there is Mark Evans, and he went and did all 150 of our cards here, and he did a very good job. Mm -hmm. So you guys have had some success with this um, from what I'm hearing, so tell mm -hmm. us about that. Go ahead. Um, yeah, you know, it kind of started out and, <laughs> we're, you know, we're, we're not businessmen here, right? right? You know, we just built a game because we thought it was fun and we thought other people would have fun with it too. And so a lot of this has been a learning experience along the way, but, you know, we've been gaining momentum and traction and, you know, we're now having local tournaments throughout the state. Um, we're shipping internationally now as wow. well. Mm -hmm. Um, and so we're 
yeah, it's, it's been a ride. It's been fun. How did so. you guys get the word out in the first place? Jeez, it was, How yeah. did it go from the cabinet, yeah, so, I guess, to, you know? Yeah. So, and that was, that's always the key to any business is the marketing strategy. Yep. And to get the word out right off the bat was we just started making phone calls, sending emails to businesses, going in, and we were going in and actually sitting down and playing game with these shop owners and showing them what it is. And, well, all of them, almost everyone we go to, they say, hey, this is, wow, this is a lot of fun. I want this here. Yeah. Or yeah. they'll take a chance on a local business type thing to start. And, and we, people can learn about it this weekend, right? You guys have an event happening this weekend, a tournament. We do. Uh, yep, we have a tournament coming up um, in Burnsville at... At Foxton, Foxton uh, Gaming Foxton. and Cafe. Yeah. It's yep. Sunday yep. on the 25th, mm -hmm. Foxton Gaming Cafe in Burnsville. Um, and people are going to come in and play or people can learn how to play? They're going to play. It's, and it's, there's cash prizes. Uh, we're giving away promo cards for those who do well in the tournament. It's double elimination bracket style tournament. Um, and we are giving away free 30 card packs to any first responders or police officers that arrived due to unfortunate recent events. Everything yeah. happening in Burnsville. Mm -hmm. yep. So that was very yep. nice of you guys. Um, the idea of the trading card aspect of it, so I'm assuming what you do then is like you're buying packs and you're looking for the the best card. You're looking for this guy. The, yeah, well, <laughs> yeah. You're, get, you're trying to get <laughs> one of those. Yeah, and so the, the packs come in as a semi-randomized starter packs. And so everything you need other than dice and a friend is in one of those packs to okay. play the game, right? And so we say semi-randomized because it's a little bit different than industry standard. A starter pack in the industry generally gives you exact same cards if I were to buy one, Joe, yep. or any of you. Yep. But ours are exactly what you need to play. But we're going to all have unique cards to us, so it feels like your deck. This is unique to you, and so you kind of have an attachment then to it. And then obviously if you get a second one, you can kind of mix and match your cards together to make the most powerful deck that you can. And your deck changes after a game. You won't go into a game with the same deck of cards and leave with the same cards, right? Because you're trading throughout the game, right? Well, so that is a huge part of it, and that is what happens. You don't have to trade, but people will trade these to try and get better ones. I'll give you three of these for one of those yeah. guys. I'm missing him, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. um, and that's where the trading card game comes into that's play. Nice. So they want the best stuff to make the best deck possible to be able to win the best and get prizes. I love it. That's yeah, cool, it's guys. Really Thanks so much. It. Two of those are both of yours. So oh, we'll well, thank you. We can have something to play on we Monday play, in between news board. and this. Yeah, awesome. Right. <laughs> Good luck this right. weekend, guys. Tom, and, uh, Joe, thank you. Yep. Very generous Absolutely. of you to, to be able to help out the first response. Yeah, thanks for right. having us on. Yep. This weekend's war tournament, by the way, is going to be held again at the Fox Den. It's a game cafe right in Burnsville. We're going to put a link with all the information you need to know, a link to purchase your very own set of these cards as well, right on our site, minnesotalive.com.